The Wear Orange Experience was tonight in Wicker Park at the Den Theater, owned by Erin Martin and her husband, and graciously offered as our venue for this event. There was a room where there were some silent auction items, and also where the groups that have been selected as our six beneficiary groups were had tables set up and I had gotten there early um, to decorate and so I got to go up to the people by those tables and I picked a few and I said tell me about yourself tell me about what you do um, on a daily basis and what are your challenges and what are your needs and and why do you do what you do and and just tell me everything and they were so so many of these um, women had lost a child or more than one to gun violence and there they were telling me that it brought them hope and healing every time that they then helped someone else. It was so inspirational and it was acknowledged that we were there for a solemn day, the wear orange um, philosophy and message is that we are remembering the victims of senseless killings and gun violence and celebrating the survivors. But the survivors who were invited to our event and who are the beneficiaries told us that they wanted for the message to be hope for tonight. And I have rarely had a more joyous and fulfilling experience at any party that I have been to. And I will call this a party. We had a band, we had a comedian, we had a poet, a DJ, an MC. It was absolutely outstanding. Through the generosity of um, multiple people and companies, um, our costs were covered. And aside from a few things that need to be settled out, um, every penny that was purchased as part of a ticket or that was donated or auction items that were donated and then the funds raised on the silent auction, the live auction, and um, our raffles, um, every penny is going to be distributed six ways. None of these sponsoring agencies, including ours, a Moms to Man Action being the largest one to sponsor, is taking a dime. And isn't that the way it should be? I had the chance to work alongside people I've gotten to know over the past months since last summer. And um, it was some party, I tell you. I am thoroughly and completely worn out. But um, that is the way the world should be. And uh, some some people who are involved in politics and and um, or leadership in communities around ours said that this is what they had been waiting for for us to join with people not like ourselves and just give the tally of the final amount. Um, that will be distributed amongst these six organizations should be out within a couple of days. I just can't wait. And um, I can't wait for those funds to be put in the bank accounts of these organizations so that they can go about their daily business of saving lives one child at a time, one person at a time, one human being at a time. 
and isn't that the way it should be